Hi guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, as you can see, we're going to be working on a triptych. These are uh, 10 by 20 inch gallery wrapped canvases. I've taped the backs for a clean finish and I have them right now balanced on cups. Um, so I just, I'm going to do something completely out of my norm and I have been watching and admiring some beautiful artwork by the incredibly talented Sarah Taylor. And if you have not gotten a chance to check out her channel, I urge you to because she creates some of the most beautiful pieces um, and they they just have so much going on in them and so much interest, interesting bits and intricate areas. Um, it's not a new um, per se uh, technique, but I've never really fully dived into it. And um, due to my binge watching, I've really wanted to give it a go. So I am going to do the cloud pour or the pearl pour. Um, pearl pour probably more so because of the fact that they're little and they're white and they're pretty. And, you know, I've done my, my little snow globe ones that I did, but there's something about her pieces um, that speak volumes to me. And so I wanted to give it a go. I've mixed up my paints with various Floetrol GAC 800 Liquitex pouring medium. Um, and I've gone from there. She has a mixing video that I watched and hopefully my consistencies have to be spot on for this to work. So we'll see if it does. Um, so the colors that I'm using are um, a white. So I'm using Artist Law Flow Acrylic in white and um, two ounces of the satin enamel. Um, and that's a mixture of Floetrol, GAC, and Liquitex pouring medium. Um, and uh, I mixed up a big batch, so I will, um, you know, put my batch description down below. Uh, I needed more white as I have a larger surface. So I wanted to make sure I mixed up enough. Um, the second color I'm going to use is Hooker's Green. And this is by Golden's. It's their heavy body paint. I don't know if you're able to see the consistency per se, but it runs right off this and um, dips into the paint and then comes to the top. So there's no mound on mound. It's like a consistency of milk. Um, I'm also using a uh, metallic paint by Modern Masters in English Brown. And this was also mixed all the same um, as the, all the colored paints. So I have a little bit of GAC, a little bit of Liquitex, a little bit of Floetrol and paint and water in there. So. Um, milk consistency on all paints. Um, they, they all have to be the same. Uh, this is a mix of uh, PBO Iridescent Gold and Golden's Iridescent Gold Fine Fluid. And also same consistency. So this is a beautiful color to add. Um, I wanted a little bit of a bright color other than the uh, gold, so I went with uh, Amsterdam's turquoise green. And with this, I added a little bit of Golden's fluid turquoise to deepen it a little bit. I didn't want it too bright, and I wanted it to um, flow well with the other colors, so that is what I did here. And this is the color. And then finally, I added a blue that I don't really use, um, but I had it laying around and it's Golden's Azurite Hue, a heavy body paint. And I have this going on here. So those are the colors that we are going to be using. Um, and we're gonna see if this works out. So I have 32 ounces of my white mixture. I know we can do this with a bare satin enamel also, but I only had the DecoArt satin enamel um, 
on hand. And uh, yeah, so we are just gonna go for this. white on here. All right, I think that's a good start. Start with a little bit of the English brown. <laughs> I just want to spread this out just a little more. There we go. So there are many incredibly talented artists like uh, Melly D for sure, Bonnie Keen, we have Dwight Powers, um, and uh, Pieces of Tara. She does some beautiful stuff too. Um, so I'm just, you know, doing my own thing and hoping that this works out. Uh, this technique, like I said, has been around for a while. Um, I am not doing Sarah Taylor's cloud over, um, but just the pearl cells to see where I can go with this um, and go from there. So I wanna make a triptych, so I sort of want it to all sort of flow together. That was the English brown. And I think what we're gonna do is come in with the blue now. already wanting to do its own thing. And some of this. Okay, so I have a lot of paint going on here and I'm okay with that because I'm going to stretch it out. And what I am gonna do is just put a little bit of this white in this cup because I think I'm gonna wanna integrate some more white in here and this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I really love what's going on here so I'm just gonna bring some of my own to the table.
I love these cells in here. Using a little more dramatic swirls in this, and we are going to see how we finish this off. We'll see how it works. I'm not sure if it will. I've done things a little differently, and the key here is to get as much paint off of these. I'm gonna bring it down to this corner and get the white off. If it doesn't work, hey, at least they're pretty. <laughs> over here because I need to get that corner all right so yeah a little something going on Let's see if it progresses making a mess over here. So we're gonna work with this middle one and I'm gonna bring it right off this way first. As you can see, I've gotten the other canvases dotted with drips, but I'm okay with that because that can be touched up. with paint first but and what are you gonna do it's a learning process right Take off my gloves to 
because I'm all done dripping everything everywhere. as matchy matchy as the others so I'm going to come in All right, so let's So I am digging it, just popping all the bubbles over here. And uh, we'll see how this dries. And please do check out Sarah Taylor Art. Um, 
I'll put a list of artists that I know um, that do uh, this technique and or style, but I'd really uh, love it if you'd go and visit their channels. Um, some have been around uh, for years and uh, really started this, um, and some are new but are making uh, beautiful work. And uh, so yeah, so I'm gonna uh, wrap this up. We'll bring you guys in in just a minute and uh, we'll go from there. All right guys, here we are. I love this. I think this is so cool. I can't wait to see it dry. And I'm loving all of these beautiful details. Definitely something I need to explore more with. Um, but I am incredibly grateful for the inspiration and Sarah Ta Taylor's uh, work. Um, I'll have video description box uh, in there. I will list um, how I mixed my white paint in the proportions that I did, which I have to add, I did get that from um, pieces of Tara and she has her recipe right on the screen and I uh, took a snapshot of that and I held on to it so my base was her recipe the colors were uh, Sarah Taylor's recipe but they are pretty similar or about the same it's just I changed them up a little bit due to um, the amount that I thought I was going to need for these three pieces so I'm really excited to see how these dry uh, the dry results are coming up and uh, we'll go from there
and here are the dried results. Be sure to follow my video on over to Sarah Taylor Modern Art to see her collaboration piece. Pardon the shadow from the lighting. Um, this was so much fun and such an unexpected result. Um, and I, I can't be more pleased with the final piece. Um, so yeah, you guys have been great. I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, uh, and watching my videos, buying paintings, donating and all of that. I really, really, truly appreciate it. It helps me continue to create beautiful art for all of you. I hope you also have a beautiful Mother's Day. If you're a mom, even if you're a mom to an animal, I think that counts. Guys, thank you so much. I'm definitely going to be playing around with this technique more. You have a wonderful day. Bye for now.